All right, real quick. Um, I'm not showing you guys the progress of behind the 540 because I just really want to get to to that point. Um, but I realized that to take off the door, it's kind of like you have to know what you're doing. So I'm just gonna run you through the steps real quick. Um, you kind of need a flathead and a pick. Uh, a hook tool is way better, but just for demonstration purpose, we're gonna do this. So first thing you wanna do is pop this out. So once you get that bad boy out, there's gonna be like a little um, metal thing inside there. I don't know if you can I, see. I don't think they can see on camera. Yeah, how about this? You see a little metal thing right there? I mean, camera can't focus, but you can kind of see something in there. You can see it? <laughs> All right, so that metal thing has to uh, get pushed in, I believe. So you get it right there, and you push that baby in. Then you hear a little click, and then this baby should become a son of a bitch. Thought you were supposed to pull it. Yeah, so pull it to lock it in place. So that's when you put it on. Oh, makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not an E34 dude, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> My heart, man. Yo, that's how we met, though. That's true. We did meet by E34. David pulled up to AutoZone with a clean ass E34. <laughs> Granted, it was automatic, but I was like, yo, trying to sell it? Rip this total down. Yeah, yeah R.I.P. Yeah. But he was like, <laughs> I just bought it. And then now, uh, oh, what are we doing? Just showing people how to do the door handles, huh? I guess, yeah. Yeah, all right, so after you do the trim, it's a good time to replace your door trim, right? But uh, in our case, we're removing the handle. So on the back side, it's going to be a 10 on this side. And then this one is just like one of these special nuts that you just kind of like hit loose. Yeah, maybe loop it up. Dude, I don't know how people from like the East Coast work on cars because those dudes deal with rust. Imagine that. I think that. there's like an actual special tool for that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a BMW, huh? <laughs> it's like special tools for everything. Pretty much. It's the way of our lives. It's not too bad though, huh? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, let's crash the door. Right? Dork. Why don't you tell the people why you're taking off the door handles though? Ah! Taking off the door handles because this door handle don't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, so the 540 um, is getting painted. I kind of was being a little bit of, of a secret little bitch because I kind of just wanted to have it come out clean because this car has been, it's literally been in the process for like five years. Yeah. So as I'm producing E30 content, I'm just trying to have this one be behind the scenes and come out looking good. But so far we placed the door, the trunk, as you guys know, I sanded the whole car, but uh, <laughs> I couldn't do that body work and I just didn't feel comfortable in it. And, and Dave convinced me like, yo, just get straight doors because it would just make life easier. Yep. So straight yeah. doors from the 540 that I got. And uh, yeah, so we're going to paint this baby and that's why it's in this process of being ugly. Shit gets ugly before it gets beautiful. Yeah, true. I'm going to get that 10 and then go ahead and like, zap her off real quick. I'm going to cut this clip. You said what? I'm gonna cut this clip. Uh, we'll just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling? Yeah, because I'll probably just upload it like this. Because <laughs> okay. you know when you actually, like back in the day when you actually needed something, you looked on YouTube, you're like, how to do this? And then it would literally be a guy showing you how to do it. But now it's like, everybody is a vlogger. So they'll be like, how to do this? But then it'll be like a whole story. And it'll turn into like a 15 minute long video. Long story short, we're keeping it dry, cut, plain, simple. I mean, and it's I'm already a vlog. <laughs> Not as vloggy as I usually do. All right, all right, all right, get that 10 behind there, which is right here. Break, break that baby loose. And then this door handle should fall right out. On the line, because we have to undo the clips for the, the damn, this baby. Oh, the... Damn, I can't remember what that's called. Door lock. We're supposed to be car guys. <laughs> the, the thing that make the car go shut? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Boom. So now after you're done with that, if this is the size, bro. Yeah, it is. Professional YouTubers, look at that. Is it T30? Oh my gosh. Well, the Harbor Freight ones are not labeled for some reason. Yeah, right there. Really? On the side. Where? Ch Man. Chrome Vanadium? Chrome Vanadium. <laughs> <laughs> Big. All right, I got a couple T's. You said T30 though, right? Earlier. Was it a T30? Well, it's not labeled, so I wouldn't know, but I did grab a T30. Wow. Ooh. Not a YouTuber, but you know your shit, huh? Mm. YouTubers don't know shit, bro. They literally just like... Call them out, call them out. 
Yeah, a lot of YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of YouTubers are not about that life. Fuck everybody. <laughs> I used to have like an electric gun to make life easy. Yeah, where's the OB thing? I'm looking at the shop. Oh. I think I have another one. You should have just. You should have took mine earlier? Great idea. Oh, there you go. This is called the Ugga Dugga Stripper. This is how you strip the bolts. All right, so we cheated the system because it's kind of hard to undo the linkage inside because you like blinded basically. So this is usually where I cut it because this shit gets kind of like <laughs> unknowing inside, but we're gonna keep it alive. So you guys know the door handles on E34s could be a pain in the dick. So. I'll just do it the right way, which is like, I don't even know the right way, but. So just to make my life easier, there's uh, the guide track for the window. I'm just gonna take that out. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just take this boat out real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was perfect, bro. As you were doing that over there, it's off now. Oh, I had the camera too, so like, sorry people. Yeah, th that's cool though, because it was just loosening a bolt. <laughs> Bam! So, you do have one bolt down there, and then on the top, it's got like a little clip. So after you do this bolt, you just kind of like wiggle it, and then it just comes right out. Then, we move on to undoing this. The more aggressive, the better. <laughs> I think you just gotta relax. You're kind of hitting the, you know. So the E34 is kind of this little bar thing right here for when you get in a car crash. And you're pretty much hitting that. Damn so it's maybe we loosen it a little bit right here. Stop lying, David. <laughs> David's lying. Just fucking brute force it out of there. Exactly, what a doubt. Force your way out. <laughs> and, and that's how you get your door out of folks. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously you wouldn't go that ham, but for the most part, this is connected to this right here. And that is where it gets a pain in the dick right there because it's really hard to work inside you got small space, so that's kind of hooked up like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, another problem with these cars, like that I experienced at least, you would go to open your door and it won't open. It'll kind of like how it yeah, happened earlier. And uh, there's like two things. So one thing could be your linkage, which is this bad boy. There's supposed to be a little spacer, which is this bad boy. And uh, that kind of goes like, you remember how this goes? I think like, <laughs> like so. <laughs> It clips onto the door or some shit to keep like the keep tension on it. Yeah, so it kind of goes like that. <laughs> so this clips to right here, keeps the tension on. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when this falls off or it gets too stretched and the yeah. tension's not right, the door won't open. And uh, there's another grommet on the inside door handle that latches into there. And that plays another factor of a loosey-goosey door handle. And in my case, in the rare case, on my 92, this grommet wasn't there so this shit was like too old and it broke off and then i would try to open the door and it wouldn't open it would just not register because then when this was like this this would just get hit a little bit like that and then with the grommet it gets hit that a little bit more and then boom yep. damn dude i really don't know how much information i know about these cars <laughs> like it's just stuff that i had to deal with and then now that i know it just randomly <laughs> Um, since we're here, we'll just go ahead and tell them about the uh, how to change the window regulator because I wanted to make that video forever. Oh, yeah. Perfect, right? You know how to do it? I think I do. Alright, sick. Give me this. David's YouTuber now. <laughs> so, 
You're supposed to. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's the same as a E36 window regulator. So I would just imagine you drill these out too. Yeah. And then take that 10 out, and then there's two clips on the window that you slide the locking clip off of, and then you pull them off of the ball plastic thing. Yeah. And that's it. I just did one two days ago. So. Oh, you did <laughs> for the E36? The 318. Yeah. Nice. That's just done now. Yeah. Um, another common thing about that is like if you hear your window go up and down, but the window's not physically going up and down it's usually the window clips are broken so you just replace those you actually pop these clips back in i mean you can't really see but we can bring it down but all right yeah let's just do it for the sake of the video god damn it for the people for the people go a little bit more all right right there it's actually broken so i'm gonna have to order a new one so this is part of the window clip but yeah, as you can see right there, there's a clip. You pop that out and then you can pull this out and it will come out all together. Um, like David said, you gotta drill these out. And then once you drill those out, you have to replace them with bolts. Luckily, I have a perfect example because no, no, somebody no, did this. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? When you buy new window regulators, they always come with new rivets. Really? Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah, they do, dude. Like when you buy them, they, it has like a little Ziploc bag that's attached to it. It has all the little new rivets that you push in. Ah, yeah. you know why I don't know that? Because I never bought a new one. <laughs> <laughs> just reusing old ones. <laughs> but yeah, if you're too cheap and you have to reuse an old one, just yeah. replace them with tens, like someone did over there. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Anything else? Yeah. To change your uh, mirror, you have to undo the speaker which is right here and then you have a little like bolt oh, and allen you still have it right there on the yeah. aha so you undo your little speaker take this out and then behind there there's going to be a little allen and then that's your mirror um what are we going to call this video like e34 door 101 yes that's a pretty good one right killing the game with my 540 <laughs> but it looks ugly real quick all right very raw video but with that rawness become, comes with education. Uh, the black trim comes off via three bolts right here. Um, the rubber trim, you just literally pull out, fish it out. It's a clip here. Oh yeah, clip there. And then over here. Clip over there. Right there. And uh, the other trim, you just pull it out because it's glued in. Yeah, it's like adhesive tape or whatever. Yeah. Oh, one more thing that I found out. These things, oh yeah. These things right here, like the little clips. So you push them from the back. I'm lying. You actually push them through the front and actually make the little God cylinder thing go to the back so you can avoid breaking it like I did right now. <laughs> that was my biggest fear. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh well. Another thing that I was kind of having struggle with, I didn't really know. Uh, shot via internet. We found a video, but I'll just show you since I'm here. All right, so David was trying to convince me, like, yo, swap in the blue door so it's a straight body. Huh? Don't worry about Bondo and dents because, you know, as long as you're short, it's going to be wavy. It's not going to look as good as just a straight door. But my biggest complaint was, like, yo, I don't know how to put 95 trim on 95 doors <laughs> because without that, they look like this. I tried to close the door like I had the latchy thingy. It looks like this. This is how it should look, and now it looks like that. I had tested on the old one, which is right here, how to take it off. So I was prying it, kind of broke it in a couple places. But so basically, you gotta just want to spread it open. I think like a, on a hot day it would work because it's rubber, so it's a little bit more forgiving. But uh, you you pry it open, like so, right? A little flexy, flexy, and then I was just tapping it out by pushing it. Bro, there's like dogs everywhere we film, huh? <laughs> Just always Even barking in, <laughs> in the background. <laughs> yeah, so these come out and yeah. Um, when I was replacing my door, they had spacers. I forgot to put it on, so my door was kind of more in the fender. But after putting the spacers on, it looks good. I think that's it. I think that's it too. I think that's it. That was a lot of information in a small video. Uh, I'm just excited for this door to get painted. All of it's gonna get painted. Yeah, I'm excited for the whole car. <clears throat> no, like fucking stupid ass tape lines. You know those shitty paint jobs that they're like, there's door trim right here that you can clearly take off. But they're like, no, bro, I'm gonna tape around it and just be like, 
Spray, <laughs> spray. Fucking spray everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're hoping for this door to come out pretty sick. Yeah. I mean, the whole car's gonna come out pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna do Mako paint job or ha- have a homie paint it or maybe even us paint it. We're not sure yet. But we're just trying to do necessary prep work to get there. The us painting part, though, is kind of scary. Bro, okay, look. <laughs> if you guys made it to the end, and I usually average like 190 likes. Mm. So if this gets like 250 likes, then we'll paint the car ourselves. No. Oh, Alright, should we raise the bar? It's just like 300 likes or something? Raise it up high. All like right. high, high. Like 400 likes. That's high for me. All right. No one's gonna like the video that many times. <laughs> Imagine. Fuck, and then we gotta paint this whole car. <laughs> oh shit, we'll see. Yeah, we'll just. We'll see. Four, 412 likes. If we pass that, then 420. we'll paint it. 420. 420. 420, good job. We'll paint the whole fucking car ourselves. Damn. That means taking this off too. I would tape that. I mean, yeah, probably could. Yeah, because it's already red inside. But I might take out the windshield though, just because I want to buy a new one. What? Like I just want it's so it's so pitted. I just want to have like a fresh window. Okay. Like just that. You know how it is. You had one on Land Rover. That shit was clean. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean the trunk. Dude, if we're pulling out the front window, that means the rear window is coming off too. Don't like the video. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh! It's just so easy to escalate this process. Only thing, like the only, my only rebuttal to that is uh, the rear window costs way more than the front because of the defro- defroster. Yeah. Aha, uh-huh. because you know how I know that? <laughs> Dude, I was trying to move like a fucking 50 foot ladder <laughs> and I had it like this and I should drop and it hit Ishmael's car oh, and it shit. broke his back window. Oh, shit. <laughs> and, and like, this one was hot because I scratched his car and and I just felt bad so I paid for the new window but good thing it was at the junkyard and it was only 80 bucks but the rear defroster didn't work no more yeah, yeah. so it might be like $300 for the rear window all right. I, I, I guess we could get away with not the rear right. window if the house. people made it this far I just want to let them know what we're doing because I have this vision right, all right. All right. Uh, maybe not AC Stitcher gurney, gurney flat wing right it's going to be a rep but it's going to be it's gonna look sick, so have a little wing coming out with a little flat, and then on the bottom is gonna say "said nudes," <laughs> or it's gonna say "saw dudes." <laughs> I don't know yet, but you know. Either way. Yeah. So, and then pretty soon I'm gonna go pick up an M Sport bumper. Um, shout out to my homie Anthony and Kyle. They've been holding that shit forever for me. I just been broke, bro. It's like 450 for a bumper. You know what I mean? I mean that's a good deal though. Yeah. Like, they're like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Actually, you know when my E34 got crashed, they were going to change the front bumper to an M bumper? Uh-huh. They were trying, the reason they totaled the whole car was because the bumper was like $2,000 from BMW. Or Brand something, new, huh? Yeah, something stupid like that. And then the car was only, what, like $700? I mean, worth. they paid me like... <coughs> I think they paid me like $3,500, $3,800 for uh, that car. So it wasn't was, too bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure the value went up now. Like, So if your car crashes, you probably could get higher value. Especially, yeah. my insurance tells me... <coughs> Since it's a classic car now, that I can go at Haggerty and I can like have a different insurance rate. And that I can nice. like, yeah. yeah. So if I get hit, you know, they don't salvage out the car. I thought they were gonna do that to Ishmael with his door. Cause that yeah. show was $3,000. Yeah. Um, another thing, comment below if I should get Euro, uh, Euro trim What's instead the of the Euro US. Trim? It just doesn't have the side markers, but I, I kind of like the side US markers. US trim is the way, dude. Yeah. But comment, with the comment si- below. Yeah, comment below, because now, <laughs> If I go U.S., then I have to buy new side markers. This is the shit that, like, why... This is what breaks the bank. Because, yes, you gotta buy a fucking pint of gla- uh, of paint, right? But, as you can see, with just this door that me and David were doing, we removed the trim. We removed, like... The, the, wind- the window uh, clips. We removed, like, regulate... We're removing a whole bunch of shit that we know we're gonna have to replace. And all that stuff is just overlooked. So now we're gonna have to replace the trim, the all that shit. This is the things that I'm just basically saying that you have to have a consideration. Yeah. <laughs> this is the rip one too, huh? No, this is the one that goes around. Yeah, that's the one that goes around. That one's actually okay. Yeah. 
No, one of them ripped actually. Yeah, the one I threw it away already. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I think that's about it, man. This was a fun video. I go upload this right now. <laughs> this is literally like I'm just gonna put it in there and then go. <laughs> Anything else? Um. I still think we should take off the gutter trim. This thing? Yeah. How hard was it when Ishmael did it? He broke it. Oh. Yeah. And then he took mine from my blue parts car. <laughs> but, like, we know how to take this off without breaking it anymore, right? I think. Yeah, we can try. <laughs> <laughs> if we break, we just replace. Cause like, I kind of watched I Ishmael do it when he was doing it to your blue car, and it seemed like there was just kind of a... You just had to kind of get it at where the... The clips are. The clips are. Yeah. The only reason why he took it off because he wanted to polish it. Yeah. I mean, that might look good, but I might not polish it. I might just shadow trim it. Paint it Ooh, black. Oh, yeah. That does look, look good, good, huh? Oh, let me know if you guys like this type of video because we literally just cough out content left and right. <laughs> this is like just hanging out with the bros. Pretty much. All right. Okay, I see that. I think we're leaving now. All right, David, do the do the trendy like uh, thingy when you cover the camera. <clears throat> like, like that. All right, you know how we're like thinking of what what else to tell you guys. All right, so we run into a couple hiccups. One of the hiccups was, what is that sensor called? The glass break sensor or something. The glass, like just a security device, so if you break this glass, it means. It goes so like right there in silicone. Yeah, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like that. It goes like there, in there. Yeah. And we've been here for like a whole hour trying to find out how to take off this glass right here. So far, it seems like silicone and some trips, some uh, clips. Oh, these are the metal clips right here. Check it out. Yeah. So those are the. You just want to get the dog leash and you just start choking it. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Uh. <laughs> and then it just starts cutting away. Look at that. It actually worked. Working, dude. Look at that. Dog leash for the win. You don't need no tam. What is that? Like a window cutter thingy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about? The windshield, windshield cutter fishing line. Yeah. Look at this. So this is what's actually holding it together, though. These fucking clips, but it was like impossible to take them off. Oh, so it looks like you go from the back. So if this window's in there, you go from the back and just pop it out. It's like there. Yeah, see, this is why I wanted this. Because now I get to hang this up. Like, I'm gonna frame it and hang it up there. It's actually pretty sick. Right? What about mm -hmm. the other side? Yeah, the other side's not that cool, but it's cool. It's got Hutaka's sticker over there. Yeah. But yeah, that, that is what we struggled with. Um, so that's one of the other things you guys could look forward to. Uh, yeah, we did this on the door, we're not even painting. Yeah, so <laughs> we were like, I mean, it kind of hurts my heart because it's the original door, yeah. but that's why I'm keeping this. Yeah. Good memory of you. Yeah, for sure. Call it a night? <laughs> Turn it off? Or should we just, yeah, should we just take this door off? Yeah, we should just take the door off. For sure. Alright, wait, wait, let's do this. I'm gonna do the thing now. Alright. So we just put the hand in and just cut, right? Alright. Wow.